Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing and feeling magnificent. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Your time is very valuable to me, Sagittarius and cross watchers. Let's get straight into it. I'll clear the deck for you first. I'll be using the Rainbow Heart Tarot and then I'll be clarifying with the Dark Mansion Tarot. So Sagittarius, and apologies if you hear a bell, that's just my cat. She has the zoomies, so we'll probably be hearing her running around. Um, Sagittarius, going back to this, there is a specific topic that I do want to cover and I have been saying this to all the other uh, zodiac signs, all the other videos I have been doing this week. And it is all about uncovering secrets. And remember, they don't have to be a bad thing. A secret could be as someone has really strong feelings for you. But let's just say if you don't have clarity, and that's the whole point of tarot is to provide understanding, clarity, but of course your confirmation as well. That's what I'm trying to seek here, your confirmation um, about your current situation. So if there's anything that's not adding up or you're wondering, are we gonna to go to the next level? Perhaps what is my person really thinking about here as well? Uh, how are they really feeling about me? Whether you are in connection or not, I find out usually pretty early, depending on the cards that I see very early on. So nothing will be left, nothing will be left uncovered. Is that what I'm trying to say? Everything, all will be uncovered. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that didn't make sense what I just said, but yeah, uh, I will be exploring everything. So if there's just anything that you're wondering about, you've got lack of clarity about something, this is the whole point of tarot. And the best part, Sagittarius, is that you are always 100% in control of your readings. If you don't like the outcome, we have the power to change it. And if we do like the reading, I always say, receive it with open arms. All right, let's do a hard shuffle now. Sagittarius, please. Everything and anything that Sagittarius, Sagittarius should know about, please, for their highest good and only for their highest good, please. All right, perfect. Two more. Last one, these are just very wide, these cards. Whoa, and I've got very <laughs> small hands. Let's do it again. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for you, Sagittarius, for the collective watching this, what's unseen, the overall energy, what's Really can't wait to start bubbling over to its point that it's on top of the spread. What do we have? Oh, we have you. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You've come out already strong in the reading. Sag, Aries, and uh, Sag, Aries, and Leo. I almost forgot there. Ah, look at that. So the Knight of Wands. All nights mean messages and certain changes. This will be of a passionate kind. It's something that drives you to take action. Why do I say that? It's because this is the call to action night. It's also the traveling night. This could be an indication perhaps you've just come back from a travel, you're preparing even at the end of the year, next year to go on travel. Um, this could also mean someone that is prepared to take action towards you. Now, always look at the illustration. I always stress about that with all my videos. Illustration and placement of the cards are very important. This particular night, though, is looking to the past, though. Perhaps even the recent past or long ago, could even be months or even days, it doesn't matter, but it's almost like contemplating about something that happened in the past. Maybe I should take action, though. So there is movement here. Sometimes the Knight of Wands can represent perhaps someone you were dealing with that was in and out of your life, a bit impulsive, a bit of a hothead here. Somewhere where you just didn't know which version you were going to get that day, though. Let's see. More, please. Aha. Uh -huh. This is starting to make sense now, isn't it? So we're looking to the past, something that ended, because we have the death card. Scorpio energy right there. Mm -hmm. It's also the card of fate. In other words, it's about transformation. It's about having that second try. But I'm seeing here, firstly for yourself though, it's like when the snake sheds its skin, we have that brand new version here of ourselves. It's about rebirth here. But I see, of course, I mean, appropriately better would be better to put the cards like this, wouldn't it? But I'll still put it the way it is. So we're looking to the past here about something that ended. The Seven of Cups here is, uh, well, that is more Scorpio energy. Your person can be any star sign, but it's already telling me here that, well, I'm getting several messages. Traditionally, this is when we're thinking a lot about the past. Perhaps we're thinking, well, what could have been and what should have been with a particular person, though? This may have shown in the past there were commitment issues with you. 
Um, you may have felt the same thing, but sometimes it's not really nice this card in the sense that yeah, it's good about fantasizing about the future, but when we're talking about the past here, because you are looking to the past, perhaps someone made you feel like an option that you weren't the first priority and that is not nice. Of course, we, we should be each other's first priority here. Um, but I'm, and what I do like is that at the same time, you will be having a lot of, uh, well, I could say a lot of opportunities, a plethora, you could say, of choices in the form of opportunities here. But uh, we also have here the two of wands, Aries energy. Someone will be, uh, I have to say it, I think it's, uh, it could be you, but I'm really inclined to say this could be your person here that is thinking of taking that first step towards perhaps reclaiming what was once what they had and now is lost with that Ten of Pentacles, that's Virgo energy. Some of you may have been married to this person or just felt like it was a really committed long-term relationship. There might be children involved. Perhaps it was even a house between the both of you. But the Two of Wands is stepping into the unknown. Aha, uh -huh. Six of Swords. Aquarius energy, again, that could indicate more travel. If there's not travel, it's movement. It's going towards that lake of tranquility, you could say. But this has definitely something to do with an ending. I feel like you haven't seen or spoken to this person in a very long time. But that Ten of Pentacles is pretty much having it all. Security, stability, commitment, or marriage. Mm, so it's a bit of a, a bit up and down. There's a lot of things still up in the air, especially with your feelings towards this person, Sagittarius. I'm wondering why did this end though? Let's look at the head of your reading and I'll, I can't wait to clarify these cards. Okay, you already come out in the head of your reading. Nine of Wands is Sagittarius energy. So, okay, what's happening that since this ending that happened, whether you're aware of it or not, and I think a lot of you are very aware here that perhaps your defenses, your barriers, your walls are probably very high up and you're very discerning or very apprehensive of anyone, especially someone from the past. If they come back, you're very apprehensive, kind of thinking, well, why are you back? It's like, I'll listen to you, but just don't cross over this field. This is my protection area, so just don't get too close, though. That is the Wounded Warrior. So you've really been to hell and back in regards to your personal love life, but you're still here and you're still putting one foot in front of the other. But it's already telling me here that uh, perhaps the return of someone, because the Two of Wands is someone making that choice. They're, you know, they're at the crossroads thinking, Perhaps I would like to actually reach out to Sagittarius and I'm inclined to think here that um, you definitely know this person and you're I, automatically it's making you just a little bit, I wouldn't say uneasy. It's like, why are you back though? <laughs> why? Wow. The Ten of Cups. You got my two favorite tens, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles is more of that tangible um, happy ever after but this is emotional happily ever after this is of course happily ever after it is about reconciliation as well it's a very strong omen this is what they would like with you I almost feel there's a part of you that would like it but like 90% of you is thinking but they're going to hurt me again something is going to happen or else why would you be a, you know a bit defensive not in a really rude way you're just really protecting your heart space here uh-huh two of pentacles Capricorn energy Okay, it will be your choice. This is choices, decisions. It's weighing up your options. Yes, no, yes, no. Mm. Okay, they may approach you during a very busy time. And this is the thing. I mean, it's pretty obvious. We're going, you know, towards the end of the year, wrapping things up. You're trying to juggle everything here, wrapping all it up. And then boom, here they come though. Mm. Four of cups. Cancer energy. Okay, someone's missing you a lot. Like... I'm not a lot. I'm going to say with capitals, a lot. Someone is missing you quite a lot here, Sagittarius. This card is heavily linked here with high rejection, depression here as well, feeling lonely, apathetic towards themselves and people around them. Suddenly they're bored because you're not there anymore. Definitely feeling quite melancholic here. I think this person knows that already they're going to be faced with this invisible wall. It's like zoom, shunned. It's like I can't really get to Sagittarius at the moment. So your person here is probably crying here, at, you know, and they're going towards a five of cups, which is deep guilt and regret here that that ship has sailed. What is the beating heart of your reading? You, the queen of wands, regardless of gender here. Now you're looking to the future. I feel here that you're inclined to, it's not like you're being rude at all, but I, I'm already very inclined to say that you have every right if you kind of want to give this person a bit of the cold shoulder you know without being rude or anything but i see that you're looking forward here to the future though but this person here i can already see is missing you quite a lot i'm i'm, I'm hearing like 
I can't even believe I'm saying this, but it's almost like Billy Ray Cyrus, you know, achy, breaky heart. I keep hearing that. In other words, I can't even believe I just said that, but that's what I'm hearing. And yeah, it's like they're walking around with a broken heart. And here you are taking action for what's best for you. Strength. Beautiful. Ruled by Leo. So this is not about killing the lion. It's not about restraining the lion. It's about taming the lion. We have the lion that's pretty aggressive, but there you are. And you're like, you know what? Keep it cool. I'm going to be cool. Approach the situation with honey instead of vinegar. This does speak of unconditional love. I'm going to say this, Sagittarius. There is a big part of you that will forever love this person. But they do actually love you here as well. Again, it goes down to choices. I'm seeing here that both of you are probably not talking to each other. And if you are, for those that are, it's probably because there are children involved or their finances, whatever, unless it's like absolutely necessary. And yes, your person has been holding back, but it's taken their almighty strength to do so. This is a card of courage and bravery. So yes, it is brave of you if you want to move forward on your own. It's brave of you if you also want to hear them out. And of course, it's brave of them to actually approach you again. Wow, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the sword is pointing up. Swords show communication could be in a matter of weeks. I have to say this, this person is secretly watching you and they are keeping tabs on you. Yeah, there are certain... Fo now, for those that are on social media, or at least if they have old photos of you, they keep going back to the same photos about you, where Sagittarius, you just got this natural flair, naturally attractive um, but they are watching you here. This is the ultimate communicator, the true messenger, where they want to get to the point. But for some reason, it pains them a lot. They're in a lot of pain here over this ending. And I really feel this this was their doing. Or else, why feel so guilty? Why feel that I need courage here to face Sagittarius? I like that you are looking in another direction also for happiness. You're looking out for number one. That I really do like. But again, we have you sandwiched in the middle of making a choice and hearing this person out here. It's like, ooh, now it's crunch time, in other words. But they are definitely watching you, keeping tabs on you. You could say it's like the spy card here. But uh, looking at old photos, old text messages here. So what do they hope to do in the near future when it comes to you? Let's see. This is the near future. Ah, and it's you. Temperance, this is a major strictly under Sagittarius energy. There you are. So they want to heal this. This is a beautiful card for healing. That if they do want to salvage what is left of this connection, they need to come back with the intentions of peace, balance, harmony, and utter complete patience for you here. Um, they will be kind of coming very slowly towards you. It is the card of patience for you. They need to be patient to you. But we've got the angel dipping their feet. They're not rushing in here. There's nothing impulsive. And pouring one cup of love and emotions equally from one cup into another. So it's almost like they're coming back waving the white flag, like saying, Sagittarius, uh, I, I may have screwed up here. The damage has been beyond what you know I thought that I could do. But I really want you to hear me out, So, though. What do we have in the outcome is the five of pentacles. That is our Taurus energy here. Hmm. Dare I say that I see here that uh, you may not give this person a chance, or at least if you hear, hear them out, you know, and they say, I love you, and you're like, thanks. <laughs> That's, I'm not saying that in a bad way, but you have your reasons, though, because this is all about abandonment issues here. They want to heal that, but I don't... Yeah, the King of Swords, Aquarius, could also be a Gemini or a Libra, but I think here they want... This is definitely an ex. This is someone that you have history with. But we clearly we have abandonment issues for some of you. Money couldn't have been lost or stolen or hemorrhaged towards them. And I think here it's almost like you're, you're going to give them exactly what they gave you. I think that's what led to this drastic ending here. And I think they sorely, you know, um, underestimated you here. They want to talk about this, but I don't think you're in any right mind. I don't think you want to. I want to clarify these cards because... If you think that your person is kind of happy or they're gallivanting around town, you know, living their best life, um, I'm definitely telling you that they're not. Because if anything, you know, you may forgive this person. You're like, okay, what's done is done and cannot be undone. But I'm seeing here perhaps you may actually end up rejecting this person because you're looking towards another area for happiness. Um, let's see. Sagittarius, please, and their person. Everything and anything that Sagittarius should know about, please, for their highest good. Okay, got a highlighted message. Thank you. Last one. Okay, here we go. Some of you may be curious, but 
I think you're being very logical about this. Wow, the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. Look at that wish fulfillment. Perhaps your person has just realized how emotionally attached they are to you as well. Mm. Could it be that, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it. I think they've realized what they have lost. And in doing so, they, they are losing a whole lot more. Yeah, the Five of Swords. That is Aquarius energy. Mm. Talk about destroying the one thing that really meant a lot to them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm happy at least they recognize this, but I'm wondering, is it a little bit too little too late? Five of Swords is really kind of catty energy. It's like false gossip, false rumors, lies about you. Um, it could even be that your, pre your, your present, <laughs> your person, they may give you a present. Um, it could be here that your person was also providing false hope. You're really getting your hopes up, false wishes here, and they fell through on that. And they were happy to take, 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 and you were giving without realizing it's like, it's got to be a two-way street here. There could also be a lot of interference. I'm seeing a lot of people because we also have the five of wands, Leo energy. Everyone's arguing. Everyone's fighting there. There's a lot of people there with an opinion when they shouldn't, you know, it should be only be between you and this person. Competition. Wow. Look at that. We've got the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy, and we have judgment, Scorpio energy. It's about resurrection here. I think your person is now realizing the really bad mistakes that they did. And why do I say, and look at that, three of cups, cancer energy. Yeah, I think they want reunion, even just to start off as friends. With that moon card, it is all about using your intuition. I think you realized that there was too many secrets. There was too many mysteries here. Even white lies to not hurt you, but in the end, as I always say, they are still lies and it can lead to a lot of confusion confusion a lot of assumptions here as well so poor judgment on your person's end and this may be something they're going to have to live with for a very long time here um yeah i think you're in the dark about a lot of things especially things that were happening behind your back you know not very well-meaning friends and family members perhaps i was sticking their nose in this influencing your person something happened it couldn't be in that big fight that big revelation something that they said or did in the end and it just ended with that death card let's talk about you nine of wands followed by the Ten of Wands. Strictly again, Sagittarius energy. To get to this point, Sagittarius, where you have all the wands on your back, it hasn't been easy. It has not been an easy road for you. But you are pretty much one of the most resilient star signs here as well. Why do I say that? Because you're very flexible and open-minded about how to solve issues as well. And sometimes one is just to walk away instead of just going back and forth, back and forth here. So it has been very stressful. A lot of you, I think, are still feeling the effects of this. That's a high stress card. So that's why I said to get to that point for you, Sagittarius, has not been easy. Thanks to this person and all this interference. And I think your person was keeping a lot of information from you. Perhaps even not to hurt you, but I mean, look how they are now. Let's talk about that Ten of Cups. Clearly, they want reconciliation. And it is followed here by the Chariot. That is Cancer energy, regardless if your person is at a distance or not. Here they come, big cancer energy, the fastest moving energy in the deck. This is what I always describe as positive tunnel vision because they've got, well, for them, they think it is, you know, it's like that sheer determination to move forward to you to heal this and move away from all the drama. Mm. Oh boy. I think they're going to be faced with a, probably a big surprise from you. Now, the Two of Pentacles is all about choices. Okay, there definitely could have been a third party situation because we've got two queens now in the same line. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Two queens here and some information. I think your person wants to tell you some hard truths as well. In other words, the absolute truth about what they were hiding, secrets. Now, that Queen of Cups here, we've got Divine Feminine Energy. Now, yes, maybe... They were tempted by cheating, for example. This also couldn't have been interference from um, a family member, a friend, or, you know, like a, a friend that they consider family or a co-worker here. If they were trying to juggle you and trying to keep someone else happy, they sorely failed here. Let's talk about that Four of Cups. Yep, the Magician, Gemini Virgo energy. So the shadow side of this with the Four of Cups shows that there were lies, that there was manipulation. Now, you may recognize this sometimes that if you confront someone and they get upset, they're trying to twist and manipulate the conversation to make you look like the bad person. Um, but the sorely, sorely worked against them because Sagittarius, you can read between the lines. You're like, okay, you did that. Now I'm looking to the future. And here they are crying over spilt milk. Now, of course, 
They would love nothing more than have a brand new beginning with you to manifest this. But, uh, oof. I mean, look at the outcome here. I don't want to lie, but I think here yeah, you're really putting yourself first and I do commend you for that, Sagittarius. Let's talk about you. You are in the beating heart of your own reading. You've got that seven of cups again. We had it here and now we've got it again. Okay. So there are many, op and if you don't feel it, it's about to happen. Lots of uh, choices in the form of opportunities. I see perhaps that you're just a little bit, when I say emotionally confused or overwhelmed, it's like a bit of that tug of war between the head and the heart now. It's like, well, do I hear them out? Or do I go back to them? Do I go forward on my own? Do I even hear, you know, read their message? Do I even accept them as a friend here? So when this happens, and I've had some people saying to me, if I'm so confused, what do I do? In that instance, there are no cards saying that you have to rush and, you know, do something. I would just say, take your time until you feel grounded. Even if you have to remove yourself from the situation. Um, I see here that, um, if anything, this is telling you to take your time here as well until you kind of clear your head. Sometimes we just have to remove ourselves from the situation. And that's definitely true with that five of wands as well. The choice will be yours. This all falls on you and uh, no pressure, right? But uh, let's talk about that strength card. Wow. We've got the king of cups, very strong Scorpio energy, but could be a Pisces and a Cancer. It's right underneath the queen of cups. Your person definitely sees you as the one. And this is the thing. There was a time Sagittarius, where you truly believe that as well, the perfect match of the king and the queen of cups, the perfect match. And you believed it wholeheartedly, absolutely. But I'm seeing that your perspective and looking back in retrospect, you have changed. And that's the death card. It's that 2.0 version. It's shedding our skin here. So I do commend you because you've learned a lot and you've really grown an individual. Has this person really grown? Well, they're crying a lot. That's all I can say. They're really regretting their decisions because they know that they gave you pretty much the weight of the world on your shoulders. Perhaps that's enough for them to scare them into never doing that ever again. Let's talk about that page of swords. There's a lot of spying here. Uh -huh. Nine of pentacles, very strong Virgo energy. Could also be a Taurus or a Capricorn. This is the slowest moving night. As you can see, the night is not even moving. They're just on the edge of a cliff here. So your person is moving very extremely painfully slow towards you. Why do I say that? Because clearly they have a very big guilty conscience and they don't want to rub you or trigger you the wrong way here. But I have to say this, believe it or not, this is the Knight of Pentacles and they are returning back a lot more loyal, a lot more grounded, a lot more practical. This time they do want to offer you something very promising, a lot more solid. First, by telling you the truth of everything, everything that they were hiding, especially all these people that were interfering. I think there was a lot happening behind your back. A lot of that really immature, catty energy, gossip, rumors, making false accusations about you. You may be aware of this, Sagittarius. For those that are not aware, that's why the moon is there. It's telling you that a lot happened behind your back and your person wants to confess it all. So if you do a, a recognize that perhaps friends or family or even an ex was very meddling, very just in it, I'm going to say that I think they were probably jealous of you or intimidated because the chariot always says, yes, you know, they want victory with you, but not everyone's going to be clapping. And it's a, a real shame here because they would hate, the, these people would hate it if you interfered, for example, but yet they do it. Let's talk about you. They want to heal in the near future. Yep, it's going to happen. We've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So they come here with the intention of reconciliation, the intention of giving you a heartfelt apology. But I'm hearing that they're going to have to pretty much be apologizing for the rest of their life. Um, I mean, you would never do that to make them suffer. But the thing is, I think they're realizing how badly this person screwed up here, perhaps by taking someone's aside or protecting someone else instead of honoring you. Yeah, we've got a lot of messages and changes here. Something solid they want to give you, but also emotional. Definitely you can expect a gift. Sometimes these are heartfelt gifts that kind of try and pull on your heartstrings. Let's talk about the outcome. We got strength twice. Wow. Leo energy. Again, see, we've got that lion. It's roaring. And there you are on top thinking, I've got this. I absolutely love your energy, Sagittarius. You're cool, calm and collected. I think you act with poise and with grace. If you fire up, I think you've got a very good reason because I know Sagittarius that uh, you may laugh, but I do believe that you are a patient person. And for you to get really upset, like, like the lion, it's because someone keeps poking you. That's why. More please. Okay, we've got justice. 
Libra energy and justice will be served. I love that the scales are completely balanced. We've got more apologies here coming your way. I want to get one more. I'm curious. Uh, it's going to be tricky. The Seven of Swords, that is Aquarius energy. And I think that's why I mean, we have again Three of Cups there, Cancer energy, Reconciliation. I do have to commend you here because you, again, you're acting with poise, with grace, regardless of gender here. I think that you are going, you are inclined to hear from your person, to hear what they have to say. We do have apologies. This is your person here trying to earn your trust back, your love, your respect, your honor here. There could be discussions here also of separation and divorce if there was a third party or if it happened between you. They want to balance everything. I think it can be possible, but this is the thing. It's going to be tricky because you don't trust this person. The Seven of Swords shows that there's been way too many secrets, too many lying, too many stuff happening behind your back, where perhaps you were even the last person to find out here. So do I actually see a complete reconciliation? No. But I do see at least forgiving um, this person and hearing them out because they're prepared to tell you the truth. Wow. It's interesting. I mean, they're still seeing you as the one. They're still seeing you as Sagittarius is my person, though. Mm, I think justice, karma, whatever you want to call it, they're experiencing that right now. But I have to say, it, they're, they're coming back slowly towards you. Absolutely, like dancing around this whole thing. And then it's like, can we get to the point? <laughs> I really, really want to have a second try with you. But, you know, we can say forgive and forget. I think you may just accept this person only as a friend. So this may confirm a lot, offer a lot of clarity about what's been happening. Um, I just think your person was trying to keep you and someone else happy. And that wasn't working. Not at all. And they're going to confess this all to you. What an interesting reading. But I do love your energy, though. You're moving forward. It's going to be, listen, for them, it's going to be tricky. But for you, underneath, it's going to be all smooth sailing here. Okay. Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it offered some clarity because this definitely wasn't you. It was your person. And it was all the people around, all these individuals around your person. They created unnecessary chaos, confusion, and just arguments and conflict and you know what your person allowed this to happen so this is a very big lesson that they have to learn of course so i will see you in the next couple of days sagittarius with a brand new reading with a brand new topic um, and i'm sending you much love sagittarius please take care bye